Well, this um, lecture talks about how to label values. Uh, here we have a couple examples. Um, for factor variables, that is variables that are already considered to be categorical, we can use the factor function uh, for a nominal level variable. And we can also use ordered function, O-R-D-E-R-E-D -E -E function to uh, label values for an ordered variable. But let's say, uh, uh, let's begin with a factor or nominal level variable. So we have this race variable in my DTA, right? And it has three values, one, two, three. Of course, sometimes it has a missing. Uh, let's disregard missing for a moment. And then uh, here we can use the factor function. You know, we, we can specify uh, the data frame name separate by dollar sign and the variable name comma levels is to specify the values existing in the data frame for that variable. And then we're going to specify corresponding labels for these uh, values. For example, for one, that's for white, two, that's for black, and three, that's for other. And, um, you know, we simply ignore, um, you know, missing. So we can run through uh, these three lines, okay? And we can table, right, this new variable. Well, here we can see that for, uh, you know, when we tabulate this variable, the value uh, label becomes one white, two black, and three other. What about without having that step, without labeling these values? Okay, so we see one, two, three for the original race variable, right, in the data. Okay. So that is to... Uh, label values for factor variables, nominal level variables. What about, uh, you know, for variables uh, that are not factor variable, okay, are not a nominal level variable, at least at the face level. For example, for sex, we know that's a nominal level variable, that's a factor variable, but let's treat it as a uh, continuous numerical variable. So let's tabulate this variable first, okay? So here, the value label still one and two. They're not labels, they just numbers, okay? And the next thing I wanna do is to invoke this label, the library, okay? Uh, this library or this package uh, was written to uh, assign value labels. So here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna assign uh, value labels for this sex variable and turn it into a new variable, sex lab. It's called sex lab, okay? And for sex, okay, how to label it? Well, for male, or for one, I'm gonna label it as male. For two, I'm gonna label it as female. And also, I'm gonna label this variable, okay? I'm gonna give this variable uh, a name, okay? A concrete name. Uh, or, um, you know, here, I wanna provide more description about the variable name. So I. Just, I call that assigned sex at birth. Okay, run it. We can table it, tabulate. Still, you know, we don't see that value labels here, right? Why? Because still treated as a numerical variable. But, you know, um, people are gonna ask, you know, where is that piece of information located? Because we just assign variable names and value labels, right? Okay, we can see that. Uh, so when we request to um, list that variable, well, at the very beginning, we see the variable label. Then we see the data. Towards the end, we see the value label. One is for male, two is for female, right? We can also use the val underscore labels function to request to list the value labels, right? One is male, two is female. We can also request uh, request use the val underscore label function without s to request uh, r to list the label for one. So what's the value label for the value of one? Well, that's male, right? Well, the next question people might, uh, might want to ask is, can I uh, value label a uh, factor variable? So 
we, we, we already have a factor variable existing in our data frame, and I want to label that variable. Can we do that? Well, the answer is no, we can't. Value labels, you know, at least from this package, labeled package, okay, we cannot uh, label values of factor variable. The idea is, is, is pretty simple, right? A factor variable is supposed to be already labeled, and we're trying to relabel that factor variable. And note that labeled package is to, for the most part, to label the values for continuous variable, numerical variable, with a lot of values, okay? Uh, of course, we can label the values for a non-factor variable. So we know that in my DTA data frame, happy this variable is not a factor variable yet. We know it is a factor variable, you know, in uh, essence, right? It's a nominal variable, but it's not being created as a factor variable in the data file. And we can still use the value, val underscore labels to what? To label values for this variable. Yes, we can do that, right? And uh, we can use the look underscore for function from the labeled package to check out what's going on in my DTA, right? right? So it shows, well, happy we just uh, named the variable, label the variable name, right? Level of happy from high to low, right? Well, we'll label here, right? Um, And for each variable, if there's a label for the variable name, it should be here. Otherwise, it's on a, you know, it, it's just dash. Uh, and also, uh, we have column type here, you know, number missing. What's nice about this look for function, right? And also, we have list of uh, value labels for the var variables that we already uh, label their values for. And here, of course, we can use the var underscore label to label uh, the variable name, the level of happy from high to low. So this is the label for the variable name, not the label for the values, just to be clear. And also we can use var underscore label my uh, DTA underscore, uh, excuse me, dollar sign happy to request to see uh, the label for the variable name or for the variable. So again, uh, to conclude, the labeled package, all the functions uh, within that package are used to what? Label the values of non-factor, non-order variables. Although uh, um, in nature, they could be uh, nominal or ordinal variables, but they're not uh, created like that. And for example, for happy, right? You know, uh, uh, it is a ordinal variable, right? By nature, but it has values one, two, three, and it's not created, it's not labeled as a factor or order variable in the data frame. So it's still treated as a um, numerical variable. In that case, we can use functions from the labeled package to, uh, you know, label the variable names and label the values. Okay. For factor and order variables, if they're created already as a factor or order variables in a data frame, we cannot use, we cannot use uh, the label package to label the values or, you know, label the variable names. 